morning, everyone. This is Jopke. Um, today I'm working on a tiny little mixed media canvas. Uh, this measures about four by four inches. It's a tiny little canvas. It's pre-gessoed, so uh, I don't have to gesso it, but I'm going to put on stuff anyway, so uh, it wasn't all that necessary anyway. But uh, I start with gluing down um, this piece of tissue paper. I'm working for this piece with uh, a few goodies that I got in Happy Mail. And this is the first one, uh, the tissue paper I got from Anya quite a while ago. And I'm using it as the background for my little canvas. Uh, using the art medium, um, which is um, uh, something I keep in a little container. I have a, a big bottle, uh, a one liter bottle of this art medium. It's from Schoening and I'm using it to glue down the piece of tissue paper, making sure that I go, uh, make, uh, making sure that all the edges are covered as well. Uh, cutting down a few pieces with the scissors and making sure everything is stuck down very well. Um, the next step that I do is using um, some color, the spray, uh, distress spray stains from Tim Holtz. I believe this is the vintage photo and I am um, using it on the edges uh, with a bit of water to make it drip and run a bit, uh, mainly around the edges because uh, uh, on top it's going to be covered uh, with all kinds of things and I wanted the edges to already have a bit of a grungy, vintage look. Uh, this piece of fabric I got in Happy Mail as well. I'm tearing it down to the right size and then fraying the edges of that piece of... Uh, I'm not sure how you call this fabric. It's, it's not lace. Uh, uh, I, I'm not sure how you call it, but anyway, I'm uh, fraying the edges a bit and uh, keeping the threads. I'm don't throwing them away. And then I glue down this piece of fabric on top of the tissue paper. And for that, I'm using the golden gel medium. I don't know why I did that, because I guessing it would have worked with the art medium from Schoening uh, as well. But Anyway, I use the golden gel medium for this. Now that is done, I want to do some stamping. And I thought to use my acrylic block for that because um, this is a very tiny piece of canvas. And I have this empty space on the back, but it was very small, so I thought it would work. Um, well, it didn't, as you can see. I pushed it very carefully and it was left with a big empty space. Um, only the edges uh, grabbed onto the canvas, so I decided to uh, ditch the acrylic block and just use the stamp as it is, and that worked a lot better. You have to be careful though, because uh, the, the back side of the canvas isn't supported, so um, usually when you have a bigger size canvas, you can use a book or a DVD disc uh, to put underneath it, so it will support the the back, but this was such a tiny canvas that um, I ha I didn't have anything that would fit in, in that small uh, space. So here I'm using the threads that I pulled out of the ca uh, fabric uh, earlier and I'm gluing that down for a bit of texture. Also using the gel, the art medium from Schoening again for this. And uh, well, I wanted to do this video actually in real time, but uh, so you see me in a minute using a lot of gestures, uh, talking to you about stuff. And um, well, I decided not to do this in real time because the video took up 48 minutes, I believe, and I thought that was uh, too long. And also because of the traffic that comes by my house uh, every few minutes, it's a kind of a noisy, uh, so I decided not to. So here I am using a, a die cut frame I got also in Happy Mail, and I'm um, adding some ink on the edges. And here you see me making gestures and I'm telling you about this acrylic paint and the, and the bottles and how I made it and blah, blah, blah. But uh, yeah, use it, 
use this for also a bit more uh, uh, grungy up the, the frame uh, with some water. I'm spraying, make it run a bit so it's a kind of uh, grungy and I will go inside later on with a Faber-Castell artist pit pen to uh, color the edges of the die cut as well. And this is also an acrylic spray paint I made myself, a yellow one, and I'm using that for a bit of color uh, on the canvas. And then I spilled something from the bottle and I decided to clean my bottle on, on the canvas. So I got a bit of color in the middle as well. So then the next step is uh, gluing down the frame and I'm using uh, just a, a plain uh, white glue for that. I bought this at Action uh, Crea Patch or something like that it's called and I'm holding it down for a few seconds so it's stuck really well to my canvas and um, in comes the book text paper and a few music sheets, uh, uh, pieces of paper. Uh, I also got this in Happy Mail and uh, here I'm starting uh, struggling a bit because I thought I wanted to use the white lace butterfly but mm, didn't like that all that much and I was thinking how do I grunge that up and how can I make that that crispy white butterfly into something that fits on this canvas um, so I didn't know uh, I started with uh, coloring the edges of my pieces of paper and then I decided to look for something else and I had these wooden butterflies uh, which uh, I thought looked a lot better and this one had a bit of color on it, a bit of orangey ochre kind of color so I decided to use that, uh, that one. Um, wasn't quite sure in what way and here I'm uh, deciding on which glue to use for sticking down the pieces of paper and I just uh, decided on the art medium again and I'm gluing the pieces of paper down which had um, uh, I colored the edges with the with the ink pad and then still I am uh, struggling a bit because yeah I kind of like it but I thought the background was a bit busy and the butterfly didn't stood out as well as I would like to and I thought I should bring in uh, some more color which uh, resembles the butterfly a bit more and um, using another distress spray I believe this was the rusty hinge that helped a bit uh, it was kind of the color that I was looking for uh, but I wasn't happy uh, yet at that time and I pulled out a few more pieces this was a piece of painted paper uh, that had a good color on it uh, for the butterfly. I picked out the black lace pieces I had in my stash, uh, which I thought that could look nice as well. But I'm still not sure uh, which way to go at this point. And uh, uh, often uh, gesso is the uh, solution, really. So I took out the gesso. Um, with a palette knife, this is the heavy gesso from Art Basics, uh, Finna Bear, and I decided to tone down the background a bit. So, um, using the palette knife to make a bit more texture, but also toning down the background. So, it was all visible, but not all that much. And I immediately immediately thought that was the right thing to do because my butterfly stood out much more uh, after I did that. So then I decided to use the black lace but to bring back more of the black uh, I splatter a bit around the canvas so the black lace goes first and I'm gluing that down with the golden gel medium. Uh, often do that uh, for fabric or heavier kind of stuff. I'm using the gel, golden gel medium and then uh, my piece of paper and the butterfly goes on. And then when I looked at it from a distance, I thought, yeah, it looked quite nice. So um, 
what was left to do is finding a quote or a line or a word and I use the Tim Holtz a small talk stickers uh, for that from ideology and um, used one that said use your wings which was a, a with a black background and I placed that on top of the butterfly so and then uh, my little mini canvas is done um, I have a few more of these uh, canvases uh, blank ones that is still need uh, to work on those but I'm going to and I'm thinking about incorporating them in a bigger project as well it's just an idea that I'm still working on so anyway I hope you've enjoyed watching this video uh, have a great day and see you again very soon bye bye